Do you ever think about the locks on your home? They help to keep you safe from the bad guys breaking in, or do they? So how do you select the best lock? Tonight in my Keeping Family Safe report, we take a closer look. They don't make locks like they used to. You don't find locks like this anymore. Roger Crass owns Centerville Lock and Safe and has been in the lock business for 50 years. He says with door locks, you get what you pay for. Price really dictates quality to a great degree. At Crass's store, locks range in price from $25 up to $250. It's heavy in weight. For this high security Medico lock. There's some hardened steel inserts that you just can't drill drill through. Is it harder to pick that lock or do lock bumping? Right, because it's a double locking lock. So it's more complicated to unlock this lock. So the higher security lock, the harder for crooks to pick and break into your home. But are any locks out there foolproof? Nothing, nothing, nothing foolproof. Just more resistant. They want in fast. They want in within five, 10 minutes to most. For many of us, our homes are our greatest investment, and Kraft says many developers are installing attractive but inexpensive locks. Obviously, very, very low pick resistance. So customers... And they want the locks rekeyed, and we usually recommend replacing them. Quickset makes a smart key lock that allows you to rekey the lock yourself in seconds and claims to have superior pick resistance. Experts say for better protection... Make sure all your locks are one-inch deadbolts made of steel. If your house was built before the 1970s, the bolt may be shorter. And if you have French doors, be sure to use a key as opposed to a knob lock. Now, Crass says a strong lock is not any good against a weak door or door frame. So inspect your door and door frame for structural stability as well. And if you have any family safety stories, please email me at fightingback at sbgtv.com. Would love to hear from you. I love these stories. Also on a side note, thank you, Jack. Mark your calendars for Kids Fest, Saturday, September 26. It's gonna be a free, fun-filled day for kids and grown-ups. There will be inflatables, balloons, artists, face painting, a cover kid contest for Dayton Parent Magazine, which we are partnering with, and the Junior League, speaking of safety, will be, give, be giving away bike helmets. For more information on that, just go to our website and click on this story.